When a man has taken a wife and married her, and it come to pass that she find no favor in his eyes, because he has found some uncleanness in her, then let him write her a bill of divorcement, and give it in her hand, and send her out of his house. And when she is departed out of his house, she may go and be another man's wife. And if the latter husband hate her, and write her a bill of divorcement, and give it in her hand, and send her out of his house, or if the latter husband die, which took her to be his wife, her former husband, which sent her away, may not take her again to be his wife, after that she is defiled. For that is abomination before the Lord. And you shall not cause the land to sin, which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance." When a man has taken a new wife, he shall not go out to war, neither shall he be charged with any business, but he shall be free at home one year, and shall cheer up his wife which he has taken. No man shall take the nether or the upper millstone to pledge, for he takes a man's life to pledge. If a man be found stealing any of his brethren of the children of Israel, and makes merchandise of him, or sells him, then that thief shall die and you shall put evil away from among you. Take heed in the plague of leprosy, that you observe diligently, and do according to all that the priests, the Levites, shall teach you. As I commanded them, so you shall observe to do. Remember what the Lord your God did unto Miriam by the way, after that you were come forth out of Egypt. When you do lend your brother anything, you shall not go into his house to fetch his pledge. You shall stand abroad, and the man to whom you do lend shall bring out the pledge abroad unto you. And if the man be poor, you shall not sleep with his pledge. In any case, you shall deliver him the pledge again when the sun goes down, that he may sleep in his own raiment, and bless you, and it shall be righteousness unto you before the Lord your God. You shall not oppress an hired servant that is poor and needy whether he be of your brethren or of your strangers that are in your land within your gates. At his day you shall give him his hire. Neither shall the sun go down upon it, for he is poor and sets his heart upon it, lest he cry against you unto the Lord, and it be sin unto you. The fathers shall not be put to death for the children, neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own sin. You shall not pervert the judgment of the stranger, nor of the fatherless, nor take a widow's raiment to pledge. But you shall remember that you were a bondman in Egypt, and the Lord your God redeemed you thence. Therefore I command you to do this thing. When you cut down your harvest in your field, and have forgot a sheaf in the field, you shall not go again to fetch it. It shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hands. When you beat your olive tree, you shall not go over the boughs again. It shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. When you gather the grapes of your vineyard, you shall not glean it afterward. It shall be for the stranger, for the fatherless, and for the widow. And you shall remember that you were a bondman in the land of Egypt. Therefore, I command you to do this thing. If there be a controversy between men, and they come unto judgment, that the judges may judge them, then they shall justify the righteous, and condemn the wicked. And it shall be, if the wicked man be worthy to be beaten, that the judge shall cause him to lie down, and to be beaten before his face, according to his fault, by a certain number. Forty stripes he may give him, and not exceed, lest if he should exceed, and beat him above these with many stripes, then your brother should seem vile unto you. You shall not muzzle the ox when he treads out the corn. If brethren dwell together, and one of them die, and have no child, the wife of the dead shall not marry without unto a stranger. Her husband's brother shall go in unto her, and take her to him to wife, and perform the duty of an husband's brother unto her. And it shall be that the firstborn which he bears shall succeed in the name of his brother which is dead, that his name 
be not put out of Israel. And if the man like not to take his brother's wife, then let his brother's wife go up to the gate unto the elders and say, My husband's brother refuses to raise up unto his brother a name in Israel. He will not perform the duty of my husband's brother. Then the elders of his city shall call him and speak unto him. And if he stand to it and say, I like not to take her, then shall his brother's wife come unto him in the presence of the elders and loose his shoe from off his foot and spit in his face and shall answer and say, So shall it be done unto that man that will not build up his brother's house. And his name shall be called in Israel, the house of him that has his shoe loosed. When men strive together, one with another, and the wife of the one draws near for to deliver her husband out of the hand of him that smites him, and puts forth her hand, and takes him by the secrets, then you shall cut off her hand, your eye shall not pity her. You shall not have in your bag divers' weights, a great and a small. You shall not have in your house divers' measures, a great and a small. But you shall have a perfect and just weight, a perfect and just measure shall you have. That your days may be lengthened in the land which the Lord your God gives you. For all that do such things, and all that do unrighteously, are an abomination unto the Lord your God. Remember what Amalek did unto you by the way, when you were come forth out of Egypt, how he met you by the way, and smote the hindmost of you, even all that were feeble behind you, when you were faint and weary, and he feared not God. Therefore it shall be, when the Lord your God has given you rest from all your enemies round about in the land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance to possess it, that you shall blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. You shall not forget it.